Hey YouTube, this is Andrea here, and we are on, there's page one, page two, three, and there's page four. That's what we're working on today. <clears throat> I will give you the measurements. This flip here is um, three and a quarter. Let me just double check. Three and a quarter by five and three quarters. Just missed that one. That's this flip here. You want to place a magnet on there. And then this flip here is very, very cool. We have lots of magnets on here. Um, this flip begins here and ends there, and it is 11 by two and a half inches, and it's just kind of like an accordion fold, just like that. All right, so I've got all my papers ready for this. We got our glue ready. We got our squishy ready to take the backing off. So I'm going to start with this one here. Actually, I wanted to start with this one up here. All right. I hope everybody has had a great week and weekend. part is to take the tape off the backing. <laughs> the hardest part is to get the paper down the way it's supposed to go down. So let's see how well we do. As you can see I've already um, inked up my edges and if you ever get to a point where you're at this point you got the tape backing off you still have an opportunity to go in and smush around your edges if you feel like you need to even though you've already done it it's it's okay I love that paper. Now I do have my paper for this. We have two magnets to uncover on this side. this side and this for the inside. I wasn't going to use this as a flip and I thought, oh, what the heck. It's something different. It's not like everybody else's stuff out there. You know, you just you get in that creative mode and maybe you offer up something someone hasn't done yet and, and it'll give them some inspiration to come up with something of their own. Okay. 
And you see I have scored my lines here. Each one is scored to coincide with this. So when I put it down, I want to make sure I am on those scored lines. That's the inside over the back side. <clears throat> now we're going to work on the inside. I actually have my little trash can here. I don't know why I'm not using it. <laughs> You can get the little trash can. You can get it at uh, the Dollar Tree. They're great. Working on a little project. Just want to dump some trash. But don't go all the way over to the recycle. You can just take your little trash can to the recycle. And dump it out. Just need to take off the backing of these. stuck to me so I want the yeah all the way to there don't don't crush too much because your magnets are in there <coughs> so we are going to train our paper just like so and then here we're going to train our paper again just like so Now we've trained that paper, and it is where we want it to be. Okay, <clears throat> that looks nice. I am enjoying that. Very cute. I need to cut that. Let's see if I can. Ooh. I have to cut from this way. Yeah. Okay. All right, now that that's done. There's that one. There's that. Um, we've got this on here, and I have a little cutie sticker I want to put right there or this is a, a die cut and I made it into a sticker so where is my I'll use this
and it's going to go to the top right corner just to give it a little pizzazz and you could put your cutie in there if you want to Love it. Okay, now we're working on the bottom. I need to use my bone folder to flatten this out. Okay, now I have marked this as one, so number one goes here. Perfect. I love that. And then I have this, which is a pocket that I made with my um, Anna Griffin dies. And they're called Pretty Pockets. So let's use this for the first time. Look at my little sticky tool here. because it's going to go right on there with a tag. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. Perfect. That's going to get on my nerves. I may do something with that because <laughs> it keeps popping up on me. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to flip this up because, yes, of course, we have an underneath. And we're going to decorate these two bottoms. I got some bigger magnets. Uh, it took them a, a long time to get them to me, but I did get them. And I got 150 
for three dollars and some change and they're eight millimeter rounds and they're like 1.5 uh, millimeter thick very very um, slim okay there's B1 And they are much stronger than the last magnets I got, but I'm going to use those up too. I'm not going to let them just sit there and collect dust. Use up what you got. And I got these from the same seller I got my other magnets from on eBay. If you check out my first um video on my first card card making video you'll see or the first mini book you'll see the uh the magnets Perfect. And we'll put the inside top on. And that's what the inside <clears throat> top looks like. Perfect. I love it. Love it, love it. And then our tag is right here. We have made papers for it, <clears throat> and the tag, this tag is, is not measured, I guess. Let's see. It is five, five by four. That's easy enough. So, five by four tag. I'm going to go ahead and do my corners on here with my Martha Stewart punch because I love to do the corners but I don't do them until I get my paper onto the mat and that's because sometimes you can you'll punch the using the corner punch and then uh, you'll you'll mess up
voilà. Yeah. Now I love these little mats. I mean, you can make them for just about anything. You can make them inside of birthday cards and Oops, sorry for the shaking. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if we can get her to work. All right. I'm going to try a little bit of wax. Try this again. Maybe we're going a little smoother this time. Nope. It did not go in smoother. <laughs> Let's try this again. Okay. Alright. That worked. I have another one of these coming, and I hope it works better than this one. Okay. Okay, so that goes into this little butterfly pocket. It is a butterfly. Actually, I would like to put it on this side. There we go. See how pretty? Pretty, pretty. This is a lot of stuff going on in this pocket. But we are done with number five. Uh, I'm sorry, with number four, right? This is our little pull out for here. One, two, three, four. So this was page four. And I hope you guys enjoyed putting together page four with me. I will be using more of these little pockets. I think they are adorable. There's a slew of things that you can do with these pockets. Uh, if you do black backgrounds, you can take a white um, gel pen and gel around the black background or a gold gel pen any kind of color you want and uh, that would be just as pretty all right don't forget to like subscribe and share have a great one bye